All right, it is a, uh, what is today? Today is Saturday, and I find myself at uh, Dayok, uh, the Dayok station. And Dayok is a, it's a hub where you can get uh, either the yellow line or the blue line or the red line. And I am uh, sitting here on the platform waiting for the blue line to come along. It should be coming along right behind me any minute. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to the market. I'm going to the, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful market hall that they have here. And you'll, you'll find everything that you would find in a, in a big market, such as uh, food and, uh, well, food obviously, but, but they have, uh, you know, cheese and meat and produce and uh, they've got sweets and they've got um, just about everything. So I'm going to the, uh, going to the market today, not necessarily because I need anything, just uh, because I enjoy going to the market. I've always enjoyed going to the market. Interestingly enough, when I was a little kid, growing up back in, uh, where did I grow up? Back in uh, Euclid, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. Saturday mornings, uh, every, every second Saturday, that is, every second Saturday, I was the one child of the 10 that more times than not would wake up bright and early with my, uh, my mother and my father and off we'd go in the car down to the uh, Cleveland West Side Market. And I don't know why I was the, uh, the one of the, the ten children that liked to go there more than any of the others. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to bring you to the market today here in, here in Budapest. And, um, you know, it's a, uh, here, comes the, uh, here comes the blue line. So I got to... I gotta get on, uh, get on board. But um, anyway, so uh, I used to always go to the market with mom and dad, and we would get in the uh, we would get in the uh, the car. I think it was a uh, for a while we had a uh, we had a, a little Rambler. It was a little little blue Rambler, and then uh, I think mom got uh, got my dad to buy her a uh, I think it was a, a brown a brown Ford LTD, if I'm not mistaken. It was a, uh, it was a brown Ford LTD. So we'd go down to the, uh, to the Cleveland market, and, uh, and in doing so, they always had, uh, it was WHK on the radio station. I think it was 1420. Uh, 1420 WHK. So now I'm at uh, Calvin Tad, two stops away from uh, from Dayok, and uh, as I was saying, you know the uh, the memories of the uh, the memories I'm I'm being laughed at right now. You see this uh, this woman right here, she's laughing at me. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Where? I'm from Vietnam. 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 Yes. Oh, fantastic. And you? I am from uh, America. America. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going for the lunch now. For the lunch? Are you enjoying uh, Budapest? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. So okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So anyway, I was being laughed at by this uh, <laughs> lovely couple from uh, from Vietnam. One of these days, I'm actually going to go to Vietnam. You know, I'm not sure if I'll make it to Vietnam or not, but. One of these days I'll go to Vietnam. Anyway, so uh, as I was saying before I was being laughed at, I, uh, I, um, oh, I'm losing my trend of thought here. You know, it's hard to ad lib this whole thing as I'm, uh, as I'm just walking along. But uh, I know what I was gonna say. I gotta remember where, uh, gotta remember where I'm at. So one of the things, one of the, uh, the fondest memories that I have of the market here, or the fondest memory of the market that I have here in Budapest, is uh, it was always um, it was always on uh, Saturday morning. Saturday mornings, just as I'm uh, doing now, when I lived here in Budapest, I would find myself going to the uh, to the market. And um, when I was uh, living here, I had a uh, wonderful girlfriend and Saturday mornings 
she would be uh, she would actually be in the in the flat. She would be doing the. Uh, I have to kind of orientate myself to see where I'm at. She would be in the. Uh, you know, I'm kind of lost as I as I look around here. I, just, I gotta gotta find out where uh, where exactly I'm at. Well, I know where I'm at. Okay, so now I've got my now I've got my bearings because right over there is uh, is Radayutsa. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, Saturday mornings when I lived here in Budapest, my girlfriend would be. My girlfriend would be cleaning the cleaning the flat, and I would uh, go off to the market. And much as I did as a little boy, I'd go off to the market and uh, I'd get all types of all types of goodies. And then I'd come back from the market, and uh, oftentimes she would have been made uh, made some levish for me for lunch, which would have been which would have been soup. So that is my, uh, that's my memory. Here we got a gentleman that I think is gonna perhaps start playing the, uh, the violin. You know, I'm absolutely loving this, this Zion, Zion crane. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna just walk through the market and just uh, try to do it in one shot if I can so we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes all right we'll be back in just a bit all right and there it is the great market hall I'm not sure if that's actually what they what they call it or not whether they call it the, the great market hall or not or they just call it the, the market but uh, it is a uh, beautiful, beautiful building, like many of the buildings that you would see here in, in Budapest. And uh, actually, the name is right on the, the front, and I don't know that I can uh, actually pronounce that, but it's uh, Zamu Vatsanak or, or something like that. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to find my way I'm gonna find my way inside this this beautiful building and and bring you along. Look at the uh, the tile work up on the up on the roof. You can see it's just uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous colored colored tile work up there. So it uh, should be a beautiful day. Should be a beautiful day to uh, go to the market and uh, and bring you along. The market is, uh, you know, without question, the market is always, it's always busy, especially on a, uh, on a Saturday morning. So I'm just going to kind of have to find my way through the crowd. One of the things that I always treated myself to when I would come to the market was the, uh, the poppy seed, uh, poppy seed sweet. So this is the. Uh, this is what you'll see when you cut the poppy, poppy seed treat, you know, the, the baked, uh, like a baked good with, with poppy seed in it. And I'll show that to you here in just a, in just a moment. But as you can see, I'm just going to walk through. And, uh, you know, what's interesting is that um, the, uh, this, the Zion crane that I have, the Zion crane, I've got to get used to it because, uh, I find that in watching the video, and sometimes I'm just doing, uh, I'm just doing it too fast. So this is, this is all uh, different types of Hungarian chocolate that you can see. Looks, uh, looks absolutely delicious. So we're just gonna keep walking along and, uh, and bring you through. It is a large, large building. No shortage of uh, no shortage of things to, to look at as you go through the the different stalls. There's the uh, there's the fruit. I get some uh, get some fruit. You can see the prices. The, uh, the 580 80 forints, 599 forints. The 
FC. Bananas are 299 corn. I, I believe that's kilogram. So 999 kilo, uh, corn for a kilogram of these uh, you know, red red berries. Blueberries are going for 2,999 corn for a, uh, a kilogram. Then you've got your, uh, you got your different types of produce uh, here. You've got some peppers, peppers, tomatoes, almonds. Cherries are in uh, cherries are in season right now. Over here you have the um, the meat salami. The pick uh, pick salami is very very famous in Hungary. You can see so we got some very nice uh, salami to choose from. Actually have. Uh, we actually have three levels here in the market. Downstairs you have the downstairs you have the fish. And uh, upstairs you have all the upstairs you have all the gifts. Speaking of which, uh, you'll find salts down here on the first floor as well that have, have gifts. You can see here. Paprika is a uh, very big thing here in in Hungary, Hungarian paprika, and you can get uh, paprika, paprika cream as well. I used to take these home with me. As a matter of fact, I probably have some of these sitting at uh, sitting at home right now. And there are some other nice items that you can buy. So let's uh, continue on with our our tour. If you were to go to my kitchen back in Florida right now, up on the uh, wall, you'd see one of these hanging up. Take a little bit of that paprika and you put it in your your goulash lettuce, and uh, really, really nice. I think just walking through the crowd pretty much speaks for it speaks for itself. There's another uh, another salami salami stand with some uh, with some meat meat. See the, the meat. It's always a little bit challenged when I lived here because it wasn't always so easy to go out and get a good a good steak. Fresh, uh, fresh fish. Of, uh, no shortage of salami. Boy, I would love to send some of that back home to my uh, to my dad. I don't think that you can bring. I don't think you, you can bring this into the uh, into the states right here. 
with this little display they got going on here. I think I just gave this video an R rating. It's actually later in the morning right now. It's uh, a little bit after noon. So the uh, market crowd is probably just kind of dying down. There's more, uh, I'm still looking for my uh, puppy seed, puppy seed treat. Selection of really nice, uh, nice jams that you can get. Okay, that in the jam may be uh, soap, is your thing. You want to put. I would think these are items that you would put into your uh, into your dresser. That would actually make a really nice uh, nice gift. I would think. Got to be careful loading up on the. Uh, I found over the years that you got to be careful loading up on the gifts, the gifts and the souvenirs, because that uh, loads up on the luggage, and then you find yourself at the airport stressing out about your. Uh, Bag weight. And after all these years of traveling, I still haven't quite, uh, still haven't quite figured out the uh, the whole luggage situation. I always find myself at the airport, much as I did on this trip, trying to uh, scramble to adjust the weight on uh, the weight on bags. All right, so I've gone through a good portion of the of the downstairs of the, uh, of the market. And I'm still looking for my little puppy seed tree, which I think is just up and, up and around the corner. So we'll uh, continue walking, and if the line isn't, if the line isn't too long, I'll sit and wait, ah, well, look, look what I found. Exactly what I was looking for. Look at this. Boy, skip back in uh, the villages in Florida. I bet you're liking this, aren't you? I think that's the uh, sure if that's the poppy seed or not. I don't think it is. But, uh, no shortage of no shortage of sweets. That's not uh, quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that right there, but filled with uh, filled with poppy seed. And I don't uh, I don't see it. But there's another bakery just up here, and maybe this bakery will you know, have it. They've got a selection of different sandwiches. I don't see my uh I don't see my poppy seed yet. And I'm not Maybe just up uh 
to get you stuff around the corner. As I seem to recall, there's a place where you would go and uh, find the poppy sweet. So they gotta be conscientious of the uh, the timer on the on the camera. Because uh, I think that I'm gonna run out of battery here sooner or sooner or later. And I still don't see the uh, I still don't see my poppy seed. Somewhere, uh, find it here somewhere, I'm sure. You'd be amazed at uh, some of the some of the sweets that you'll find here in, in Budapest. I'm actually going to. Uh, going to dinner tonight and uh, it'd be a good idea to take a nice nice cake with me okay so I can't find my uh, can't find my my poppy seed treat but uh, that's okay so I am going to uh, go upstairs now upstairs is where you're gonna find the uh, the food stalls You'll find the food stalls and you'll find the souvenirs up here, as you can, you can see. Oh, 
folks here are tourists, I'm sure. Come and get my my goulash here. I thought they were going to be playing some music here momentarily. They saw the camera. Hello. America, you boy. Will you play if I were a rich man? There you go. Stairs. 